So this is the insanely wide Carbon Fiber Revenge GT from Peregrine Automotive. It makes over 750 horsepower, cost over $220,000 new, is one of just six coupes for the entire world, and yes, it is as fast as it looks. In fact, this exact car is actually for sale, so if you wanted to purchase something like this, you can as it's going up on Bring a Trailer, up for auction, as offered from Casio Motors. And in this video, we'll go through the exterior, the interior, the powertrain, and of course, we'll take it for a drive. So first, a bit of background about the Revenge GT and its builder, Peregrine Automotive. Now, Peregrine Automotive is a company based out of Kalispell, Montana, here in the United States, with an emphasis on performance composite materials, hence the heavy use of carbon fiber here in the Revenge GT. The name Peregrine comes from the bird, famous for speeds of up to 200 miles per hour just like the Revenge GT. Now, what is the Revenge GT? Well, it's their efforts to make the most high-performance, track-ready street car possible using an S550 Mustang. They built about 10 of these cars in total, which, as the plate implies, only six were coupes, like this car, and the other four were convertibles. Now, first, you had to start with an S550, in this case, a 2019 Ford Mustang GT Premium, and that'll run you about $53,000. The Revenge GT package starts at $1, $149,000 to get what you see here. And on top of that, this car has some special options that bumps it up to $168,000 for a total price new of over $221,000 to get to this car that you see here as the highly capable track monster. Moving on to the exterior of the Revenge GT, it features a carbon fiber wide body with the exception of the doors for safety and the trunk, which needs to be rigid in order to hold down the 121 foot-pounds of downforce provided by this carbon fiber swan neck rear spoiler for improved track performance. The carbon fiber wide body adds a total of six inches in the rear of the car, about three inches per side, and adds three inches total to the front, or about one and a half inches on each side. The Golf livery you see here of the blue and orange is actually all painted, including the stripes here on the body of our carbon fiber. We can also see our badge for our Peregrine Automotive. This is, in fact, functional airflow through here. We can see big, wide air intakes in the front to get better airflow for performance. We do have an exposed carbon fiber front lower splitter here. As we take a look at the side, we can see our headlights, our nice wide body intakes, our wheels and brakes, which we'll talk about later. And then here, we even have some functional extractors to help pull heat out of the engine bay, which is also exposed carbon fiber with the weaves matched here in the center. We can take a look and we can see that we have orange mirrors as well. We do get keyless entry from our 2019 Ford Mustang GT starting point. We do have these exposed carbon fiber sills, which vent here into our significantly wider tires. And we do have an exposed carbon fiber roof as well. You'll notice that the glass is tinted here in the rear. We do have a carbon fiber gas cap as well. And then as we come to the back of the car, you'll notice that we have a considerably wider Ford Mustang here. We can see our Peregrine Automotive Tri Exhaust here, which does in fact have valves, so it does work with the valve changing modes that you'll talk about in the interior of the Mustang as well. And we can see all of the exposed carbon fiber and still retains our parking sensors as well to retain full functionality of the Revenge GT as a street car, but ready to become a track car at a moment's notice. So moving on to the interior of the Revenge GT, the first thing we notice are our Napa leather Recaro seats here in the front, which have this very heavy side bolstering as well, and even some leg bolstering to hold you in place during spirited or track use driving. It also features this orange stitching and orange inlay in the middle to match our Golf theme, and we even have Revenge embossed here in the headrest section. The other cool thing is they did it with the back seats have also been finished in Napa leather, and the door cards themselves have also been matched, and you can see our orange stitching here in the middle. If we go ahead and take a look at the rest of the interior, we can see that it's all still very usable. The car hasn't been gutted for track use or anything like that. It's still meant to be a track-focused street car. So we can go ahead and start the car using our push button start here, and the car goes ahead and starts it up, and we can see everything is still generally available with us and made to integrate with the Revenge GT kit from Peregrine Automotive. So for example, some of the standard drive modes which would be available here 
here we can actually adjust as well to adjust the steering for example is available in this car we also have our various track mode use cases the sport plus modes track and even drag strip modes are all generally available in this car and of course the hazards and everything function like normal the other cool thing is the fact that the exhaust which can be accessed here through this menu using the steering wheel controls also adjust because the peregrine installed exhaust actually has valves just like this car would have come from the factory that will adjust and go ahead and work with this as well so you can quiet the car down if you want to or even just leave it in normal so that's a pretty cool usable feature that comes with this car some of the other luxuries that include if we have this beautiful machine turned face but you of course have the standard things that would have come with a 2019 ford mustang gt premium so that includes our navigation bluetooth controls here available in our center display we do have heated and ventilated front seats with dual zone climate control and of course we feature the traction control buttons our hazards our general other use cases we have our shifter for our 10 speed automatic transmission which can also be shifted manually using these paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel we do get cruise control volume controls here on the steering wheel and just the general usability and livability of this car is very much still here with the accent of these very heavily bolstered napa leather sport seats that goes a long way in terms of the usability of this car as well so it's not just a race car but very much a functional street car with race car performance under the hood is a roush stage 2 supercharged 5 liter coyote v8 producing over 750 horsepower Power, thanks to a Peregrine Custom Program Tune, high performance fuel injectors, a performance intake with a high flow filter, a billet throttle body, an oversized air intake tube, an extreme cooling system for better track performance and endurance, a performance aluminum heat exchanger, a Peregrine Custom Variable Exhaust managed through the Mustang's interior, and a Peregrine Custom Tri Exhaust Tip. The Supercharged V8 is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission, which Peregrine Automotive recommends for faster times around the track and sends power to the rear wheels. The Revenge GT should achieve 0 to 60 in less than three and a half seconds with a top speed in excess of 200 miles per hour thanks to a combination of the power and computer tested aerodynamics. On top of that, the engine bay also features a variety of carbon fiber garnishes. The underside of the hood has also been polished and the hood is held up with hood struts as opposed to a hood prop. In order to improve performance and match the new Revenge GT carbon fiber wide body, underneath has been upgraded as well, featuring a full custom front suspension build, billet sway bars, K-member brace, camber arms, Peregrine independent rear suspension, tow links, differential mount bushings, Peregrine custom MagnaRide lowering springs, and a special setup of Brembo brakes using six piston brake calipers in the front with 405 millimeter drilled disc rotors, or about 16 inches. And then the rear uses a Brembo four piston setup with 380 millimeter drilled discs, or about 15 inches in the back to improve the stopping characteristics of the car. In front are larger forge line 20 inch wheels to fit the larger brakes, which are wrapped in sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires measuring 295 35 20 in the front and 345 30 20 in the rear. On top of that, the aerodynamics have also been improved with the front featuring a carbon fiber underbelly tray to improve aerodynamics and partially protect the front of the car as well.
So there you have it. This is the very rare Revenge GT from Peregrine Automotive. It was designed to be the ultimate track ready street car weapon. And it looks fantastic, is extremely wide, relatively light and makes a ton of horsepower. And it's up for auction on Bring a Trailer. So if you liked everything about this car, you can actually go and bid on it as it's live over on Bring a Trailer as offered from Casio Motors. With that, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it and could hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. And consider getting subscribed for more content like this in the future. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.